Hey, hey, what's up, Josh? This is Devin Norton from SEO Dallas, Texas. I spoke to Esmeralda earlier today. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video. I know you're really busy. Um, I'm going to really quickly show you three easy ways to beat your competition online starting today. You're probably wondering why I'm even making this video for you, and it's simple. There are a lot of small business owners out there that are spending all of their time running their business, taking care of their customers. They typically don't have the time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more of those customers. And typically the only thing holding them back from hiring a marketing agency is they just don't know who is an expert and who is not. So I found that by making these attack plans and just giving them away for free, there's still a lot of business owners out there who end up raising their hands going, you know what, Devin, I like you, just take care of all this stuff for me. So by the end of this all, you see I've got some tricks in my sleeve and I can really do some good for your business. Just give me a call and we can chat. If you want to take this information and apply it yourself, that's okay too. This is free education with no strings attached. I'm going to show you three quick things today. How to make your website more authoritative how to make your website more trustworthy, and then how to get yourself ranked in the local map pack rankings. So let's start by taking a look at your website. This logo is awesome. It's super unique. Texans love Texas, so it's really great to see that. Um, and the, wow, this is a, it looks like it's a WordPress site, but this is built really, really nice, actually. Is this, is this a WordPress site? Oh, I don't know. Website Wizards, they built it. It's, they did a great job as far as website design goes. Like, this looks sweet. Um, now, just to point out to you, when it comes to plumbing, um, or when it, when it comes to being authoritative in Google's eyes, their whole goal is to put their consumers in front of the one article that's going to answer all their questions. So if someone types in Waco Plumbers, they want that customer to go to the first website that's going to answer all the questions. So that's why you want a lot of content. Typically, between 1,500 words and 2,000 words is going to be the safe spot. But also, your images do count, too. So whatever your image is saved as, I oh, can't see what they're saved as. Let me save this one. Whatever your image is saved as does count. So set home image three, you can save that as like plumbers in Waco or Waco plumbers, and that'll count too. Same with all these down here. Those all count, all right? So there's that for you. Um, you're going to want to have about 1,500, 2,000 words on this front page. If you look at your main competitors, you've got Smelsker, Smelsher, I don't know how to say that, plumbing, and you can see right away. Um, these guys don't have nearly as beautiful of a site you do as you do, but they are still ranking you. And it's not for content, too. You guys do have more content than them. So you're probably asking, well, why the heck are they outbeating me? That's because of the second tip I have. But first off, content is king. Make sure you get to that 1,500, 2,000 word mark. And make sure you have the proper keywords, you know, like Waco Plumbers and stuff like that. Now, the second part I'm going to talk, talk to you about is not only being more authoritative, but also being more trustworthy. Google determines trust by seeing how many other websites are linking to your website, driving traffic to your website. Those are called backlinks, but not all backlinks are created equal. You get a lot more power from other plumbing companies linking to you than you would from like Pizza Hut linking to you because Google knows you're not a pizza company. So the tool I use to check this out, it's called Ahrefs. It costs about a thousand bucks a month, but it does give you a lot of really valuable data on what's going on in the back end of websites. So this website's been around since July 15. It's kind of been up and down as far as backlinks, and then it really shot up in July, uh, July 2019. It's kind of gone up and down and kind of just hovered between like 10 up to 16 down to 6. Um, that's good. That's a great start. I will say this. Google knows what keyword stuffing is and they know when you're trying to game the system. And so when you see plumbers and Waco, plumber and Waco, plumbing, so all this like this in your meta description, they'll easily penalize you for this. So I would change that if I were you. But also, you're going to want to make yourself a little bit more trustworthy. If you look over at Smellsker Plumbing, they don't have any meta description. They're still outranking you. It's because they have good links, you know, and they've slowly climbed their way up to that. It takes time to do proper SEO, but they've climbed it up. And now they're at 57 websites linking to them. And what I would recommend is you want to beat them. So if they have 51 more than you, why don't you go get 75, right? And the best way to do it is to copy them. So go see what websites are linking to them and go get those links for yourself as well. So you go and you see like the, the best ones are going to be like plumbing, plumbing, water heater, plumbing, water heater, plumbing, plumbing. Those are all going to be the best websites for you, okay? Um, here's the reason why you want to do this though. If you check it out, it says seven right here. You guys that you have seven traffic. Look what Smellsker is getting. 228 a month is going to their website. Keep in mind, people don't look up plumbers for fun. They typically do it when they need help. And imagine how much it would cost to get 228 leads from, you know, a home advisor, Angie's List. It cost you a fortune. These guys are doing it for free because they have the right content and the right domains. So that's my second tip for you. My third tip is to get into the most important spot. So when somebody types in Waco Plumbers and they're ready to buy, they call the first plumber that shows up that seems trustworthy to at least give them a shot. And you want to be that plumber because those are going to be the easiest customers to close. Now, people skip these ads all the time. It could be from bad experiences in the past or just having ad blockers. So where you want to rank yourself is in the Google My Business or local map pack section. 
Getting here requires having more citations than your competitors, which is anywhere that your name, address, and phone number are listed in different directories across the web, like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, Angie's List, Home Advisor. These are really common ones. The best strategy here is to figure out what directories your competitors are listed in. Go list yourself in those exact same directories and then add a bunch more on top. So like if Mr. Rooter is listed in 150 directories, go put yourself in like 250 directories, okay? Um, so that's all I've got for you, Josh. I hope you found this really informative. Just as a quick recap, you're going to want to uh, get your website more authoritative by adding more content. You're going to want to make your website more trustworthy by getting more relevant backlinks. I'd say get like 75. And then to get into this local map pack, you need more citations. Just make sure when you put your name, address, and phone number in those different directories, it's all spelled the exact same across the internet, so they're all relevant to each other. Um, Josh, if you want to take this free information and apply it yourself, that's totally okay. This is free education. There's no strings attached whatsoever. Just please send me back some feedback and let me know if you thought this information was helpful. Um, if you do want some help taking care of this stuff, you can also email us back and ask for some more info, or you can give us a call. Our phone number is right here. It's 214-441-6737. Either way, I do look forward to hearing back from you, Josh. And I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.